powering up and then it's all systems go to prevent the mercury inside these light bulbs from ending up at the landfill. The bulbs are loaded in the hopper. The glass goes one way, the phosphorus powder that contains the mercury goes another. It's sucked back through these pipes, through these filters, down into the 45-gallon drums. David Hall says recycling light bulbs in a way that prevents mercury from getting into the environment is the brightest idea he's ever had. It affects health issues and uh, it contaminates uh, waterways, like for example, a four-foot fluorescent bulb contains 22 milligrams of mercury, and 22 milligrams of mercury will contaminate 220,000 liters of water. Now a new national strategy seeks to avoid exactly that, the brainchild of Liberal MP Darren Fisher. It's not going to make sure that none of it happens, it's going to decrease how much does happen. The number of lamps containing mercury in Canada is decreasing, but there were still 35 million sold in 2017. Only a third of them were diverted from landfills. While we're visiting, a customer comes by. So why do you think this is important enough to go well, through the trouble of coming down here? Well, this is all dangerous chemicals inside these bulbs. The national strategy seeks to stop the import of most lamps containing mercury in Canada and dispose of existing lamps in an environmentally sound way. But it doesn't make light bulb recycling law. It should be a must. Uh, I mean, it's a must to recycle paint. It's a must to recycle tires. It's a must to recycle oil. Always a jurisdictional issue. So you've got your municipalities handle solid waste. You've got your provincial governments that dictate what goes in the landfill through their permit. And the federal government dictates what you can do with toxic chemicals. The government intends to report on the strategy's effectiveness every five years. If everybody is, wants to save the planet, then this is one of the things that they could do to help. Kayla Hounsel, CBC News, Dartmouth.